Hi, it's Lindsay and Carl, a couple of ordinary travellers, and recently we took a four-day trip to Berlin. Yeah, Berlin. Lindsay and her two guests for the next four days. Come up behind. We started with a train journey from Brandenburg Airport to Alexanderplatz, where we stayed right in the centre and within walking distance of everything we visited. Whilst here we visited sites that look back into Berlin's past, exploring different neighbourhoods and of course trying the famous curry worst, washed down with a stein or two. And here are just a few of the places that we visited during our stay. What well, we have there is the Bundestag, which was previously the Reichstag. We're going inside. There's a dome at the top which we're going to go up to. Uh, we had to pre-book that before we got over here. Um, they, and they, you have to provide your details, obviously being a government building. The Holocaust Memorial is located near the Brandenburg Gate and is one of the city's most impressive sites. It is made up of 2,711 concrete pillars of varying heights. Under the surface of the memorial is the Information Centre and a free museum open every day except for Mondays. Right, on the way back now from the East Berlin uh, Gallery. As you can see behind me there, really long, loads of brilliant uh, murals. I see there's the Russian leader, East German leader kissing one, which is down the end there, which is everybody's uh, go-to picture. So just on the way back now, heading back to TV Tower. Here's a little taster of our trip to the Disgusting Food Museum. Watch our full video to see if any of us actually use our sick bags that are provided as your entry ticket. <laughs> now this was a great little find. The park-in rooftop terrace located in Alexandra Platz has breathtaking views over Berlin and at only six euros each it's a cheap alternative to the TV tower plus there's no queue in. Right we're here now just about to go in. And there he is, the Hoff.
So now I'm on um, no man's land on what was the uh, Berlin Wall, as you can see behind me, kind of a mock up. Um, this is no man's land, East Berlin on the one side, West Berlin on the other side. It does make you think of how sad you would feel if you had family on the opposite side of the wall that you were unable to just walk across the road to see. What they've recreated in there is the chapel uh, from the church that was here. The church was actually knocked down in 1985 and then only four years later the Berlin Wall came down itself. The guy inside the church says come and have a look. They are the original saved bells. I don't know if you can see that. But there they are. Jewish Museum is free entry, but make sure that you get your exhibition tickets from the desk on entering, or you'll be heading back there just like we did, because without them, you cannot enter the exhibitions. The museum is definitely a must visit whilst you're in Berlin, and for me, the most embracing part was the memory void with the fallen leaves. Walking on those 10,000 iron faces and hearing the clunking sounds was deeply moving. Checkpoint Charlie was the best known Berlin Wall crossing point between East and West. However, there isn't really a lot to see apart from a wooden shack and it was also the busiest place we visited. We stumbled on this urban village on our way back from the East Side Gallery. It definitely has a chilled out vibe and in the summer months this place would be really busy. And it had a great flea market of vintage clothes with DJs playing whilst you shop. hope you've enjoyed watching don't forget to subscribe and check out our disgusting food museum video